Robin Nolan. All right, that's enough metronome. And welcome everybody. In this video, I wanna just show you this really kind of cool, funky gypsy rhythm, which I think will sound great in your playing. And it's actually a rhythm you can kind of use over any piece that you know. So it's a good one to learn. And uh, straight out the gate, if you need help with all this music, all this gypsy jazz music, and you really wanna take your playing to the next level, uh, in a fun way, then come over to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com and let me help you. Uh, students are getting big success over there. It's really kind of taking off the community's building and you'll get access to all the lessons which will really help you learn the rhythm and the soloing and you'll learn the repertoire. So come over to that URL, gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com and it will be a great place to make some real progress. Now, in this video, I'm just showing you this little funky rhythm. I'll play it a little bit, then I'll break it down with a metronome. Two, three, four, like. So that's the rhythm and basically it's kind of it's a derivative of the kind of gypsy bossa rhythm which you might have heard on a tune like bossa dorado kind of like this kind of rhythm <laughs> that with a gypsy bossa and this one is the kind of um, just makes it a little bit more funky and a little bit more subtle really so you've got this kind of sound So you've got this kind of sound, and you can use it in a song, like in my trio, I use it on Nuage, for example. And it got, by the way, welcome everybody, Steve, uh, Elroy in the house, in Manila, that is exotic. Where are you watching from? Uh, type in, I'm in the, obviously in the kitchen here in Amsterdam, and I wanna show you this funky little rhythm, and I think you're gonna love it. You can put it on any song, like, so if I was gonna put it on uh, Django's Castle, for example, it'd be like. <laughs> And so let me teach it you. And by the way, when you learn this music, if you want to get good at gypsy rhythm, there's no way around it, but you've really got to put the metronome on, right? So just sit there with a the metronome. Even if you play five, 10 minutes a day with a metronome, this is going to help you keep in time. So let me play the, the first bit of nuage, right? One, there's one. <laughs> and I'll use this rhythm. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the rhythm, if I just play it on one chord, sounds like this. If I just use G major 7, it's going to sound... See that? Right, and if I break it down further, you've basically got... So it's pick the bass note, pick the chord, right? With your pick and your fingernail, slap. Okay, and if I put it in time with a metronome, you kind of got this kind of thing. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So duage.
right? And you would have heard before the gypsy bossa, which would be like. <laughs> This one is you can actually, without the pick, you can kind of go get this kind of sound. Like when my brother plays this rhythm, he plays. Right, sounds like that. Okay, so what you want to do to learn this rhythm is get a metronome beat, like this is 100 beats per minute, right? One, two, three, do it half speed. what's happening right not very exciting but at least you're understanding the rhythm all right that's the rhythm all right and then pick a tune and just practice with the metronome so you make sure you keep it in time so again I'll play a little bit of nuage and if you want help with all this gypsy jazz stuff don't hesitate, go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. It's really taken off over there, really building a community, and students are really taking their playing to dizzy in heights. It's really getting great over there. So if you want help, go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com, right? There's a link near the video. One, two, three, nuage. Line for nuage and the good thing about this rhythm you can actually use it on any piece you know you know like you could even use it on I don't know I'm just gonna pick a tune like swing gitan you know like usually goes you could go swing sheet down so it sound good on anything really and the key to getting rhythm right okay so if you'd like to learn how to play gypsy jazz rhythm and usually we're concentrating on lap on but there's all these other rhythms like this latin and this bossa and the the samba rhythm do yourself a favor and make sure that you practice with a metronome okay so i'll keep saying that and one there's two three four one two three so It's really going to help you keep in time. Welcome, Nick. Nick, you play guitar these days. Welcome, Woody. Welcome, Samuel. Great video today on Honeysuckle Rose from Samuel. Um, when you join this video, just give us a give us a bit of love because I'm on my own here in the kitchen. And also type in where you're watching from. So are you somewhere exotic? Are you somewhere exotic? Type it in. And Ireland's in the house. Welcome, Leslie. Uh, in this video, I'm just teaching you this little funky rhythm which you can use on any ch any tune ever, right? We use it on nuage, kind of. That kind of thing. But you could use it on, we use it on the Beatles. We use it, that kind of thing. It's got a nice little funky kind of backbeat and it really suits, uh, especially suits kind of ballads and maybe tunes from another genre which you're bringing into Gypsy Jazz, which is a fun thing to do. And I'm just showing you how to do it on, like if I was practicing this rhythm, number one, I would practice with a metronome, right? Two, three, four, and the basic rhythm, if I pick one chord is this.
I got. So that's how I'm using it. You might have heard another gypsy kind of bossa rhythm will be more like bossa dorado, this kind of rhythm. Two, three, like this. Right. But again, it's really crucial that you use a metronome when you practice these rhythms. And even if you can just play five or 10 minutes in the day, if you actually do that with a metronome, then you will actually get good at playing gypsy rhythm. And keeping it simple and not kind of getting too complicated is gonna help as well. Um, hey Nick, how you doing mate? Yeah, I hope you, you've... Nick Bowden, wow, fantastic. I hope you're playing guitar now, Nick. Um, Sammy's in the house from Finland, welcome Sammy. Uh, I like to keep things simple and what I'm doing in this for a start, who's this guy with the guitar? My name's Robin Nolan, and I'm a gypsy jazz guitarist, and it's my mission to help players from any style have fun with gypsy jazz guitar, right? And I teach it in a really simplistic uh, way that actually helps people, right? And if you want help, then come to the gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. There's a whole community building there. <laughs> and uh, Nick says, sadly, he's not playing guitar. There's a whole community there who are really getting really big results there and are really improving. So if you'd like to join us, come to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com and I can help you. Um, practicing rhythm, you've got to practice rhythm with a metronome, right? Whatever it is. Usually it's lap on. One, two, three, four, like. Right, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Just did that for five minutes a day, you would actually improve. Gypsy Bossa would be something like this. Right, and I've been teaching the, this uh, other funky rhythm, which goes like this. La Chudivas Carlos, three, four. How's everybody doing? 100 beats a minute. Uh, nice and easy. Four, one, two, three. One chord. Right, nuage. Da -da -do. Bring out the bass line. good rhythm to use on any tune like uh, if I played it on tears for example two three two three four like tears right and you can use it on any tune so the basic mechanics of the, of the rhythm I'll play up close so it's like it's like this like
right, you see. And it's really gonna sound great on any tune that you like. So next time you play, try using this rhythm. And it sounds good, because most of the set is going like, you know, and you've got all these rhythms. So when you pull this one out for a kind of moody, ballady kind of Latin rhythm, it really sounds great. So go and try it, okay? Uh, hey, Zachariah. Cheers for Tears. Yeah, Cheers for Tears. That sounds like the name of a band. Um, but you can use this rhythm on any piece, right? And just to recap, I'll come out so you can see. Um, put the metronome on, right? This is what you should do. One, okay? Pick one chord, like G major seven, two, three, and just practice it. Right? See, I'm getting that back beat. And if you don't know these songs, you've got to come to the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club and learn them. If there's a member here, if there's somebody that's actually in the club, then type in, okay? Type in, yeah, I'm in the club and it's great, or I'm in the club and it sucks. Uh, whatever you think, just type it in. So if there's any Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Members Clubs, club members in the house, type in. Works great on Heart of Glass. Yeah, it works great on all those kind of pop tunes that you bring into Gypsy Jazz. Um... I'll play it on Nuage one more time, okay? Two, three, four. Right. And if you're doing a slow, moody bossa dorado, you could use it. using a YouTube video of a uh, metronome. So that's it, um, guys. I'm going to jump off. Um, go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com, okay? Come and get help and learn this music without the distractions of Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we've got a great community going on, and it's a really great place to learn. So um, I'll love you and leave you. Have a great day, and I'll be back really soon, okay? Send the love. Cheers. <laughs>